what's up, homers? Big Daddy Castle here, special K. Swooping and hovering above the hood, looking for, well, I don't know, rodents, scraps of food, that kind of thing. Representing behind the lens is Mixmaster Massive Man Mountain Mike. Can I get a hell yeah, Mike? Massive Man Mountain? You know I can't go running at the moment because of my back. Well, it's just alliteration. I don't need this. Stop taking it so seriously. I'm not taking... I'm not taking it seriously. It's just... It's my birthday today and I'm feeling really old and fat. Today? Yes, today. Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Uh, you didn't think I'd forget your birthday, did you? Well, I was... I guess not. You bloody have, haven't you? I'm sorry, Mike. I've been so busy. Oh, man. You have not. You spent yesterday drawing fake maps. I'll make it up to you. Well, I'm not sure you can. Roger didn't forget, by the way. Oh, yeah, of course. Golden boy didn't forget. What did he get you? Something amazing, like diamond tr trousers. Actually, he didn't get me any diamond trousers, because I don't think they exist. He got me two tickets to see David Duchovny in person at Hull Comic Con what, later David, on this year. What? David Duchovny? Yeah. The very same. Who are you taking? I don't know. I haven't decided yet. No, who are you taking? Mike, I want to go. Mike, come on, take me, please. Please, I'm begging you. So we've had a, a couple of complaints about the production values of our show. You what? Well, nothing major, just the uh, lighting, sound and camera work. For God's sake, man, what, what, what is wrong with people? Mate, come on, remember what Dr Thomas said. Anger never solves the problem. Oh, not on camera, man. Oh, sorry. Uh, but anyway, this episode, we've increased our production crew by 50% by hiring a lighting lad. Uh, someone I went to school with, actually. Really? Who's that? Uh, Greg. Greg. Greg? Greg Atkinson? I thought he was a teacher now. Oh no, he got let go because he couldn't control his pupils. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, sad really. I mean, he, he's had surgery now, he still needs glasses though. But um, he's got the necessary equipment, so he's going to be coming with us to... Oh, glob it! I haven't told the viewers where we're actually going this week. <laughs> well, this week we're going to a shed. Hey, and not just any shed either. A haunted shed. Now sheds come in all different shapes and sizes and are often found at the bottom of gardens. They can be used for housing garden tools, storing spiders, or in this case, the ghost of Wakefield's foremost Freddie Mercury impersonator, Ralph Rutter. Now we've received a letter via email from Ralph's grieving widow, Mrs Molly Rutter who reports spooky goings on in a dead husband's man cave. So we're going to take the bus, because it's cheaper, and to quote Queen, we're going to take the highway to hell. That's ACDC. No, it's the A64. Uh, uh, right, look, look, just before we go, she does know we're not exorcists, doesn't she? Yeah, I'm not going to make that mistake again. Right. Kestrel investigates... No, nope. she definitely thinks we're exorcists, Mike. I knew she would. It's fine, I mean, we learnt a thing or two last time. No, we didn't. You, you ended up trapped in another dimension for three months. Yeah, well, lightning doesn't... Were you going to say lightning never strikes twice? No, I, I was going to say thunderbolts and lightning, very, very exciting me, Gary Leo! That were Queen, wasn't it? Oh, oh grab it. It's her again. She's very keen. She keeps putting these purple fruits in her text. Aubergines? Well, what's that supposed to mean? Well, means it, it probably is my birthday after all. Has she sent a picture? Oh, well, yes, she has. Do you want to see yeah, it? Yeah, that's my look. Yeah. Not this shed, you idiot. Oh, here comes our boss. Mrs. Rutter. Oh, hello. Um, do you want to come in or we'll get started? Uh, we're, we're just waiting for another one to turn up. Uh, Hasn't he been in touch? Oh, yes, yeah, sir. What is it with these Odegine thingies? What's he saying? He says, now then, Aggie, I'm just running... Aggie? Oh, my God, I haven't heard you call that in years. 
Aki, oh shit. Yeah, well, he says it's going to be about another 20 minutes. <laughs> Aki, Jesus. Minute. <laughs> you remember that? Aki, Aki, balls of Saki. <laughs> right, well, we're waiting. We may as well get it over with. I mean, get on with it. Are you ready, Mike? Yeah, I'm ready when you are, Aki. Don't. Mrs. Rutter. Call me Molly. Lovely to meet you, Molly. Now your husband is dead. Uh, that's no good. No. How did it happen? Well, Aggie, quite tragic, really. He dove off stage during one of his performances and no one caught him. Oh, how awful. I mean, I just don't know what you were thinking. It was only a small residential home. There's only three people in the audience and two of them were on crutches. Oh dear. Well, what about the other one? I believe the politically correct term these days is spastic. It definitely isn't. <clears throat> well, uh, it isn't all bad news. I mean, uh, since then, uh, Ralph has made something of a comeback, hasn't he? Could say that. I've heard disembodied vocal warm-ups coming from inside the shed on the night and I must say, he's sounding better than ever. Well, look at Elvis. I mean, dying did wonders for his career. Elvis isn't dead, Mike. So, uh, Mrs Rutter, why do you think Ralph is still hanging around? Does he have some unfinished business he needs to rectify before crossing over into the light? No, he's just stubborn. Always doing what he wanted to do. And now he's stuck in that shed doing now. Must be boring. Could you imagine being dead? Well, I don't have to imagine. Sorry. Well, I was dead for three months officially. It's true. He had a funeral. Yeah, he had a buffet and everything. Oh, buffet. Oh. It's Greg. Oh, finally. Sort of right. I think this is him. Oh, it is now. Oh. Here it is. Where have you been, Greg? Sorry, Aggie. Sorry, I had to nip into town and then there was a queue for the petrol and it was just madness. All right, mate. Long time no see. All right, mate. Didn't know you were driving. You could have given us a lift, you bell end. Well, never mind, you're here now. You brought your lights. Oh, just. Oh, for God's sake. How's it looking, Mike? Uh, quite well lit. You look uh, like a couple of David Dickinson's, Aggie. Stop calling me that. Anyway, we're finally about to investigate the shed where the spirit of her dead husband resides. How do we know he's in there? I'll just give the door a knock. Oh. <clears throat> Amazing, that's a we can rock you in it. Mm. Sort of. Are we safe to go in? Just a sec. <clears throat> Ralphie, <laughs> now, we're coming in, we've got company. Don't try out erotic. Oh, look right at him. Oh, oh I'm seeing dots. Hey. Whoa. Oh my God, Mike, look, a spectrum. Oh, wow. Oh, that, he used to love that. Oh. That and Queen. <laughs> There was a time when all you used to care about was me, Queen and the Spectrum, <laughs> the Holy Trinity, as they used to call it. Oh, yeah. Fast forward a few years, though, and it was just Queen and the Spectrum. <laughs> he used to make his own games as well, took him hours. Oh, mind if I have a look? Mm. Oh, well, check these out, mate. Batman, Whoa. Ghostbusters. Well, oh, Ghostbusters? Oh, shit. Serpent of Hell. I wonder if he's got Horace Ghost skiing. Sable. Mike, 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 look, the screen has come on by itself. I didn't press anything. Ralph? Ralphie? Is that you? Says yes. What do you want us to do? Says play the game. Well, which one? There's loads. Maybe there's one in the tape deck or something. Oh, yeah, good thinking, Mike. There's no title. But turn it over. Oh, yeah. Why is he written it on the back? It says, save me. Oh, what? Ralph, do you want us to play this game? Can I? Right, mate. It's brilliant. Amazing. 
Where's Kestrel? Who? Where's Aggie? Oh, he's on the spectrum. Isn't that the truth? <laughs> Kes, are you singing? Kes, are you singing in there? Kes? Add up! Do what? Add up! Kes? Jesus Christ. Hello, darlings. Uh, guys, guys, I think we've got a situation here. Oh my God. Ooh, I'll get the lights. Well. Kez. Kez. Jesus. Kez. Edo. Edo. Oh, God. Really sorry about this. This has never happened before. I just, I, I, this is just weird. I mean, I've never possessed anyone before. Oh God, he's coming towards oh, me. Well. Kez. I'm just a musical prostitute, my darling. You stop this right now! You stop this right now! Give that young man his body back! Do something, you gotta do something. Ralphie! Here's a kiss! Oh! Jesus! Oh! Did you see that? Oh, I don't know what happened. I was playing the game and all of a sudden. Oh, I don't know what came over me! I think Freddie Mercury came over you, mate. Oh, there's got to be a better way to see that. Let's get him inside. Let's get him a cup of tea. Jesus. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah. It's not in all right. Yep, not too bright. Here you go. Oh, Sorry you. about your nose. Mmm. That's nice. It's that Al Jazeera stuff. Oh, Kez. What is it with you and getting possessed? I don't know, Mike. Animals are always drawn to me. Maybe it's the same for ghosties, too. It's just living people that seem to avoid me. Yeah. I once read in Take a Break that spirit often look for an empty vessel to enter. The emptier, the better. Mike, can I have a word? Yeah? In private. Oh, oh come on, then. What, what, what do you want? I think I know what the ghost wants. What? He's, he's Randy. I thought it was called Ralph. Mate, this isn't the time for being daft. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but what, what? I think he wants one final night of passion with Molly. A final performance, so to speak. Oh, yeah. A comeback. One night yeah. only. Yeah, I get it, I get it. So? But I think it's going to have to be through me. <laughs> Oh, you dirty dog. This was your plan all along, wasn't oh, it? Mike, I'm being serious. <laughs> oh, yeah. well. well, she certainly looks up for it. Could be, uh, could be your chance. Can you explain it to her? Oh, yeah. Please. I'll give it a shot. Now, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Ralphie! Oh, that's <laughs> <bad>. It's magic! Dino 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 Thank you very much, I feel. Well and truly exorcised. I really didn't do anything. Well, I know Ralph was in you at all times. He was in us both. Oh, Jesus Christ. The thing is, though, he's still in the shed. We haven't actually fixed anything, have we? Oh, well, you might have to come back then. Let's get out of here, Mike. I can come back. Oh, come on, Greg. Mm. Right, it's... Kestrel investigates. <laughs>
Oh, yeah. Is it itching, is it? Well, we'll get you to the clinic tomorrow morning. Oh, the musical bug. Ralph has definitely left traces of himself inside me. <laughs> Surrender your ego. Be free. Be free to yourself. It's not eagle, it's ego. Surrender your ego. Don't be daft, it's surrender your eagle. It means get rid of your pets. Don't be burdened by a sense of responsibility, man. But that's a terrible message. Nobody's going to sing that, especially not Freddy. He loved cats. Oh, well, yeah, I suppose. Uh, uh, anyway, like, nobody would have an eagle as a pet. Mike Tyson had a tiger. Yeah, good point. Well, fans, the end of another thrilling investigation. And, uh, well, I suppose it's a good thing that we haven't actually got any footage to review this time. Oh, haven't we? What? Oh, oh you you were filming that, one. You better believe it. You didn't. Well, oh. I did. But oh. unless you want to be the next Paris Hilton, then you better go and get me a present pronto. I will. I'm on it. Oh, before I go, uh, remember to... Uh, well, it's either here or here, but uh, like, uh, subscribe. We know the drill by now. Are you sick and tired of having no cool clothes to wear? Same old t-shirts? Need something smart for that job interview, hot date, or funeral? Or perhaps you just need to satisfy your innate compulsion to buy stuff? Then look no further! The official Kestrel Investigates T-shaped shirt is here! Made with real cotton colors, it's got two armholes, one for your neck, and a big one for the rest of your body to come out of. Well, basically, it's designed to fit a human torso, so... It comes in a range of sizes, from little to a bit bigger, big, and then really big! What's that you say? You don't need any more t-shirts? Well, keep listening! This is a versatile product with many uses. Ha! Dish rack, colander, flag, sweat mop, car seat cover, underpants, pet lunch wrap, and many more. So order yours now! Contact us on Facebook. Each one of these cost me money and I've got a box of them to get rid of. So order now! Exclusive and limited edition! They are flying out!